Hey, this is Bang Bang. Today I'm gonna bring Inked along with me on a tattoo session. Um, I'm gonna tattoo OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr. And um, it's gonna be fun, so I'm gonna let y'all tag along and watch. So I want to do that, just do the little words and shit. On this side, I wanted that cross right here. I like the cross. First tattoo I had what was Tupac Chin. I was about to tell him leave Tupac Chin out. Just get his lips and and, and, and <laughs> I need and the cut, I need the bandana and cut it off. And then on the scar, like where my surgery was at, I threw mm, up. You threw up. I, that's how much it brought back like trauma from the surgery, everything. Like I was like as he was hitting certain spots, it was, I was like uh. closing my eyes on some shit and going to like back in the surgery. Chills. I'm telling you. He's like, we're done. I'm like, all right, bet. You still love me? <laughs> you know, family hurt each other sometimes. Wait till I'm on that real knuckle, bro. Why hands now? You know, we talked about this for a long time. You know, God say the same, I'm gonna be good for life. It just was timing. I just been going through like phases of my life, you know what I mean? I've been on a different journey, a different path, everything happening. Like I always believe timing is everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's everything. And it's just time. I be telling people all the time at the end of the day when we go six feet under, like nobody else, all them decisions you made, you the only one who gotta live on. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it affected other people. I believe in the ripple effect, all that, but at the end of the day it's what you gotta live with. I'd be in a lose-lose situation like with anything. Like if I don't say something on it, then why don't you speak on it? If you say something, then why did you speak yeah, on it? Yeah, what? I mean, man, you like, you define style for a lot of people. And tattoos like- I always knew I was gonna be tatted. I just didn't know I was gonna be this tatted. And you told me once about you were watching my shit when you were in high school. A long time ago. I love that, bro. A long time ago. I love that so much. Chris. Then I used to be drawing uh, on my arm all day in class with a sharpie. Sucked at drawing. I was that same kid, bro. I got in trouble for drawing on kids in the neighborhood with sharpies. Painting old kids' leg purple fire. Yeah. Like six years old. Yeah. You know. When did you realize you had what it takes to be a pro? And I was. When I swear I was four years old, I was outside playing the backyard and I had no socks and shoes on, and I was outside cold and it went like snowing outside. And I walked out throwing the football to myself. My mom would come up and like, get in the house. And I was like, no, I'm practicing every Sunday. Like, I was four at the time. And she said, I, the way that I said it to her, like, she believed me. Like, like, I said it with such conviction, like, such belief in myself that she had no choice but to push me to get there from that day on. So it was really at a young age. And I didn't know whether it was gonna be basketball, I didn't know whether it was gonna be football, soccer, baseball, I mean I was gonna play some sport. When you moved to New York, you found me pretty quick. Yeah that's because I had been following you for a long time. So I was like man we went to New York. Hey man to New York. I don't know how many touch but I got to touch with Remember how we met? The David know. Wilson, maybe? I think he said go to Bang Bang Shop, but I don't think he got tatted by you. Yeah, yeah I tattooed David, David yeah, when he was playing. Yeah, he did his yeah. arm. How does it feel to be the youngest player to ever be on the cover of Madden? I mean, that, that was truly a blessing. Like, crazy to even. 
like imagine that in my head, you know what I mean? This is a game I've been playing since it was on, I don't even know what system, 97, you know what I mean? When John Madden was on the cover and it was on whatever system we was playing back in the day. So like to be on it was always a lifelong dream. And what happened? Youngest player ever. Youngest player ever. Youngest player ever. A lot of my career has been like this. It's been people calling me to come over, come to their houses, like, you know, tattoo privately with them. And, you know, especially the people that support me, um, I want to support them as much as I can. And like, it's humbling. It's a cool experience when somebody who can really have anybody in the world tattoo them, choose me. And so um, it's cool. I get to be in good company too. Car ain't bad. There's no awards in tattooing. There's no Super Bowl. There's no playoffs. Like these moments are my moments. And um, I, I don't know, they're, they're really special to me. And um, so, you know, I do it for love and I do it for the memory I have and that cool relationship I get to build with Odell. And just watching people grow has been cool for me. I mean, I'm, I met Rihanna like when Umbrella just dropped. So imagine like meeting that person and then watching their trajectory. And so for me, it's really cool that they're interested in my ability and my talent and the work that I do. And it's humbling. I'm like, I'm really grateful for it. Um.